YouTube, what's going on? We are back. We are back. All right. So we're opening up the video with yet another question. Um, and I love these, man. I love them, man. The more that you guys reach out and, um, you know, reply pretty much to, uh, you know, the personal questions that you guys can ask and I'll answer them, you know, it's always been cool. So we got my guy, Kale Torres. Kale Torres, man, asking me another question. Uh, Kale says, uh, what was your biggest detractor or what did you have to overcome to finally start creating content in general? Uh, how long were you in your own head before overcoming and moving forward with your passion? Great question, man. Really good question. So, well, um, I think it's just a natural thing. And especially with me, I definitely um, thought about it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I don't think it was a confidence thing because I've done uh you know creative and you know creative things for quite some time but it was just the world of youtube probably um getting into it that really had me second second guessing the idea of doing this you know the fragrance love is first all right and me watching uh other youtubers out there and you know believing in myself and and, and saying, you know what, man, I'm not going to put any pressure on myself. You know, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And then that was pretty much it, man. And, you know, I go back from time to time and I watch my earlier videos and I just kind of laugh at myself. of Like, wow, man, you thought you really had it figured out starting this fragrance thing. But over time, just with anything else with repetition, you just get better. You get better. You feel more comfortable. And uh, that's pretty much my story, man. So anybody out there who's right on the verge of wanting to start a YouTube or doing anything for that matter, just go ahead and do it, all right? At least put forth the effort and try and uh, live with the results, all right? That's kind of the model that I go by, all right? So, Kale, appreciate the question, man. Thank you. YouTube, what's going on, YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, you got one more time, Deirdre L. Higgins Jr., and I'm indeed back with yet another fragrance video, all right? So today, we're giving a full review of a fragrance that has um, done a number on me, <laughs> all right? So I'm very excited to talk about this fragrance and break it down um, from my experience and, and my knowledge of just what it has done for me, all right? But before we get into that smell good family, hope everything is well. Hopefully everyone is doing great, fantastic. Um, if it can go good, I hope it's going great, all right? And if you're out there not having the best time and things are just not looking up right now, I do hope that changes quick, fast, in a hurry, and you're able to see uh, some brighter days, some brighter moments uh, with what you got going on, all right? So today, today we're talking about a fragrance that is challenging uh, the originator. And I love these uh, clones and inspired by that challenge of the originator and really, really push forward conversations, man, of clone houses and inspired by man. I really, um, I enjoy them. I enjoy them for sure. All right. So today, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm giving my full thoughts, full review, because I've worn this quite a bit over the last month or so. And I think that I have enough um, to give a full review from the house of Latafa, all right? Well, today, we're gonna to be breaking down my here legacy. My here legacy, look at that bottle there, all right? All right, so for those who don't know, or those who never heard of this, this is an uh, inspired by fragrance from the powerhouse, Perfumes de Marley, and it is cloning and inspired by Sedley, all right, Sedley. Sedley is a big time warm weather spring and summer versatile for the warmer weather as well style of a fragrance and for this to smell and perform and do everything that it does man it is good all right so we're going to talk about the bottle style we're going to talk about performance we're going to talk about um what i'm what my nose picks up the actual notes and where i feel that it is you know suited for and then i'll give a grade of this fragrance all right so before we get started i'm a huge fan of the house of parfums de Marley. i have several fragrances from the line i think i got a total of eight fragrances not even counting the decants even with that i probably get 10 or 11 um um you know total with parfums de Marley. and they're just my favorite niche house currently currently okay i almost dropped the bottle currently and and i just 
I just don't, I have so many great things that I can say about Parfums de Marley. But the one Parfums de Marley that is not in my collection that has been on my radar is Sedley. And I was watching YouTube and I was watching uh, Aromatics. Got to give him credit because he's the one who sold me um, on giving it a try. I looked it up online and I got this fragrance for $30 off fragrance by .ca. And when it came in, I did a... Um, I did an unboxing haul video unboxing this very, very fragrance, man, and um, my life ain't been the same since, all right? So let's go ahead and get this thing. Well, let's talk about the bottle. It is a unique style of a bottle. You have this horse platinum silver style horse. You have this awkwardly shaped bottle. Down towards the bottom, you have the a mirror. I'll get that in focus if I can. Uh, I hear Legacy, the Latafa, and you have this symbolism um I'm, I'm not really sure what that uh says every time i say i don't know what something is you guys kind of let me know what it is but all silver nothing on the back at the bottom you have the latafa uh logo on the sticker um it'll perform concentration and that's really about it the packaging the whole package i don't have the box with me right now but the whole packaging experience is really good with this bottle all right so let's go ahead and get this on a tester strip and we're gonna walk along as I talk about it. The atomizer is really nice, four good sprays. And man, I smell it in the air, bro. Good God. Man, good God. All right, so you get this minty spearmint, musk, fresh, spicy, like zesty. A style of a fragrance man um it is so pleasant to my nose man so pleasant to my nose immediately I'm thinking warmer weather I'm thinking summer I'm thinking spring I even think to the office which I've worn this to the office already as well and then most importantly it is a dead ringer for settling now for those who are out there saying Right off the rip, the quality. Of course, the Parfums de Marley quality is gonna be a tad bit higher than what you get for um, these Middle Eastern fragrances. But don't don't get me wrong, the quality in Mahir Legacy is good. It is good. You don't get no big, nasty alcohol push, no water down, like in the air. Right now, there's a pocket of it in the air just from the sprays on this tester strip. The overall quality on this thing is very good, even above solid, all right? It's really, really good, man. To the point that the quality of this really has me considering, am I ever gonna get a full bottle of settling? That's how good the quality is on this. But on paper, in the air, fresh, clean, spicy, um, uh, musky, just, a, just all of the nice things for a versatile, warmer weather scent is what I'm getting with Mahir Legacy. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the actual breakdown uh, of this fragrance uh, according to Parfumo. Parfumo to me is a little bit more accurate than Fragrantica, um, but you know, to each his own. All right, so the main accords, you get a fresh, woody, green, citrusy, and sweet style of a fragrance. Uh, the top notes, spearmint, lavender, grapefruit, lime, and pineapple. In the heart, you get black pepper, frankincense, geranium, juniper berry, and rosemary. And in the base notes, you get ambroxan, cashmere, oak moss, tonka bean, and vetiver. Solid, solid note breakdown. An enticing note breakdown, especially when you read it on uh, from Parfumo Net. Very, very good, man. But on paper when i smelled this i said wow this is super close now are the differences noticeable it depends on who you're talking to if you're talking to a trained nose then yeah they'll be able to tell you yeah this is a little bit more powdery there's a little bit more a, a sweeter fasten to it despite the original which is very uh musky and sharp citrusy and, and woodsy yeah the spearmint may hit a little bit uh different but to the average nose no you're not. Now, I have had my experiences with Parfums de Marley Settley, and I can say the experience with the two of these are very, very similar, all right? Now, my experience, performance, all right? The performance that I've got, I've worn this 
quite a few times. I've worn it to the office. I've worn it out and about. I've worn it to run errands. I've even worn it lounging around the house fresh out of the shower. I love to wear my fragrances in different scenarios to get a good idea what they could really, really do. And this one just doesn't disappoint. I've been complimented on this fragrance multiple times, multiple times. I've, I've even, um, you know, told people about this fragrance and they picked it up and they share the same sentiment, all right? Matter of fact, a young man who I work with, he smelled this on me and he wanted it right away. Bro, send me the link. That smells really, really good. That is something that I would like to have um, as a fragrance choice. And I sent it to him right away. He ordered it. About a week later, he sent me the photo of him having Mahir Legacy um, added to his collection. But really good stuff here. The performance overall on my skin, me, my skin, I get roughly around seven to eight solid performance. Even after the projection and the, uh, um, you know, the overall uh, uh, display of the fragrance, it still turns into a skin scent on me and I still faintly have it on for another two uh, hours. So total seven to 10 hours of full performance, but the projection and the uh, display of the fragrance when you spray, I get around that six to seven hour range. Now, I haven't had to layer this with ISO Week Super or Unboxing yet. And if I do do that, I'm pretty sure that I would get even another hour or maybe two hours of more performance out of this fragrance. Now, there, there is a word out there that certainly has performance issues. Some people say they get four hours, five hours, six hours. Even when I tested Sedley, I still got around that five to six hour range, which is a good range. I mean, you don't have to have beastly for everything, especially in the warmer uh, uh, climates and the warmer months. But this one right here does have a bump up in performance for sure. Projection about a foot and a half easy. If somebody comes within your uh, area or, they, uh, or your wind from walking by them, your sillage would definitely um, you know, really uh, allow that fragrance to be in their nose. And if they compliment you or not, that's totally up to them. But it is solid, all right? I just mentioned sillage. I spray a couple sprays on the back of my neck. So when I walk by folks or I'm walking by someone, nine times out of 10, they are going to pick up uh, a fragrance in the air, whether they, you know, uh, pick up if, if it's me or, or maybe somebody that's standing close to me. I hope they pick it up that it's me. But Projection, sillage, and overall performance is really, really solid with this thing. Price point, $30, fragrance by .ca. If you're looking for a bottle, I would get it now. I'll have links down below in the description, but I would get it now. As the summer continues to roll on, this might be harder to get. It might be uh, might be more sold out than normal as the summer continues to build, okay? But overall, if you're not trying to spend 400 plus plus dollars for steadily or even on discounters 250 and up where this for 75 or 125 this is an excellent 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 replacement that you can get for that you will save you some money you'll be in the 90th percentile of steadily and you're going to smell ultra good all right good for the office good for out and about, good for the summer period. You're gonna be able to do a lot for this fragrance. Now, in my opinion, it's a three season fragrance, spring, summer, and you can do a little bit of, uh, do this a little bit in the fall as well, like during the day. But ultimately, this is good. My rating for this fragrance, I give this a nine out of a 10. I was going eight and a half, but smelling it, it's right in front of me. It's like a pocket right here of Mahir Legacy. I give this a nine out of a 10. This is going to get worn out this summer. Now, will I ever get a full bottle of Sedley? Probably, <laughs> probably because I love my perfumes, the Marley collection. I love the bottles and that beautiful blue Sedley bottle would look very good uh, with me you know, with the others. Now I do have clones of Layton and um, Carlisle and, and, and uh, Pegasus. You know, I have clones of those as well, but um, at some point I'll get Sedley, but I am not in a rush. I'm not in a rush. If I catch it for a great deal, which I'll wait for, then I'll add it to the collection. All right, so again, from the house of Latafa, this is a true banger to me, especially for the warm uh, weather. We have Mahir Legacy.
Great stuff, man. They did an outstanding job here. Outstanding, all right? So let me know down below in the comments, how many of you have Mahir Legacy? Let me know. Let me know how you feel about it. How many of you have compared it to Park News to Marley Sedley? I want to know. Let's go side by side. Give your thoughts down in the comments of what you think of Sedley and Mahir Legacy. All right. So you guys be cool, man. Y'all be safe. Y'all take care of yourselves. Y'all know what to do, man. Y'all know what to do. I got to tell them one more time. It's good, man. Y'all know what to do. Splack it up. Splack it down. Splack of that thing all around. Smell good family. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for all the support. Al. Always. Thank you guys. All right. Be key. Be keezy. Be easy. <laughs> all right.